Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about object compare. So you see we have these two objects and we need to find a way to compare these two objects so that we can say okay these two objects are having same set of values because ob obviously the reference of these two objects will be different. What we can compare is the, the values the each and every property values in both the objects are same or not. Uh, so we can start with the property length like this is having two property this is having three properties they are not equal if the the length of the properties are same then we have to check the occupation value in this object and the occupation value in this object both are same or not so we can write a function which is is equivalent what we are going to do that uh, is first we will just get the property names const a props Okay, that you can get simply using object dot get on property names. So there are different methods. If you see get on property descriptor, you might have used get on property names is actually gives you all the property of this object. Similarly, this is for object first. Say we can do for object second. V props and you will get the length of the property. So here we will just check. a props dot length if that is not equal equal to v props dot length that means these are not equals we can return false if we are able to pass this then we just need to run a loop for uh, let i0 i is less than so now we know that both the object has the same length of property so you can iterate on any of this a props or b props and i plus plus and here first let's uh, get the a props value a props of i and here we can check this is the property name we got now this property we will check in both the objects a prop name if that is not equal equal to uh, v prop name that means we can return false because the property name is not equals after all if everything is fine we can just return true So this is all, this is the code to check whether two objects are having same set of properties or not. You can actually do a stringify and compare the string but that's not the 100% the accurate way to compare two different objects. Here we are getting the descriptors, it will give us the all the property names. We are just checking the length and iterating on to this a props a and checking in both the objects a and b with the same props having same value or not if not return false okay so in the next video we will talk about uh, some javascript dom events that is also more important like event delegations event bubbling event capturing what all these are what is event dot stop propagation event dot prevent default these are very important aspect which we write most of the time whenever we deal with the dom events in javascript